Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel and welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And for those of you who would like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. I've added some new options. And today is the 14th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.24 a.m. a.m. <laughs> All right, let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Gemini's need to hear today. Five Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, Gemini, this part is really specific. That's just for some of you. I feel like some of you just cannot wait to break free from someone, okay? Um, because the Fool here indicates a new beginning and Eight of Cups wanting to move away from this person, um, from this situation that could be, you know, the tower, either ugly or very disastrous, um, waiting to like shock as well i feel like for some of you maybe this has already happened and for some of you maybe you're planning for this to happen okay but just watch out for some of you also if you're in a not a really good relationship not in a um not a very good connection i feel like there's something with the three of pentacles if this person relies on you financially they're gonna try and they're gonna try and figure something out so that they can leave you and so that they can survive on their own. So watch out for that only if it's vice versa. But for some of you, Gemini, if it's not vice versa, then it, it could be you, Gemini, where you have been planning all this while to liberate yourself from this person when you when you um, have your own money, when you find your own independence, because there's something about needing to work together here, Three of Pentacles, either owning same things, I mean, owning uh, things together, houses or money, or I don't know, it can be something that I feel is important, that for some of you, you may not be able to leave because, because of that, or and watch out for somebody whom is gonna possibly drop you a bombshell here and just run away from you when they gain their own independence, okay? If this person only, remember this, only if this person relies on you financially, okay? Um, <laughs> that part is very specific and it's not for all of you, okay? But generally, what I'm seeing here with the Two of Wands, Page of Swords and Mothers, and the Queen of Pentacles and Mothers, if this is you, if you've already stopped invested in someone, I think this person is spying on you. This person could be wondering, okay, um, how is Gemini doing? Is Gemini happy without me? Is she or he okay without me? I feel a bit like with the two of ones. Is she or he miserable without me? Or is he or she happy without me? So something about them unsure whether you are doing better without them or you're doing worse without them, okay? Strength here is in reverse. This person is lack of courage to reach out to you, eight of pentacles and one verse. Most likely this is someone you have walked away from and you have not been invested in this person. And I think this person has been checking up on you or keeping tabs on you. They may have put you in a third party situation. They may have done something that I feel could have been revealed to you. And you take that opportunity as in, yes, now I can let myself go. <laughs> now I can release this person that kind of an energy that i'm getting here unless it's vice versa just watch out because somebody might find excuses certain excuses to leave you um 
yeah that's just for some of you yeah don't mean to scare you like that but only if this person relies on you financially and then things aren't going too well between the two of you they might plan an escape here okay and to spare that in mind we've got a ten of wands the chariot five of swords in one first the magician in one first and also we've got the nine of wands in one first uh swords eight of swords in one first so okay it does make <laughs> It feels like true colors are going to be revealed. Just be aware because the Five of Pentacles is a bankruptcy ca uh, card for me. So be aware of somebody. Seven of Swords, sorry. Feels like a Seven of Swords to me right now. Five of Swords and one first. Be aware if somebody relies on you financially and you're in a romantic connection with this person or this person could have been giving you false promises. Whoever this person is, be aware that they might. They might just scam you or prepare for an exit and they're gonna leave you penniless five pentacles that's for some of you yeah for some of you maybe this is what you're doing you could be planning an exit from this person and planning financially or talking to people um, strategizing for an exit from this connection but for a lot of you generally Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, maybe someone is missing you here because you have stopped invested in this person because you've already walked away with the chariot here. And then maybe you have proven to this person that you do you can do better without them and you're happier without them. You've given up on them already. You don't need that stress with the Eight of Swords in Love First, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. For a lot of you, you don't want to be a part of that equation, if, especially if they put you in a third party situation or if, they, or if they put you in a bad financial situation. That's for some of you, because a lot of pentacles here, that's why I'm talking about finances. It could be related to that for some of you. Three of ones also could be related to a third party situation for some of you. I do sense this person is longing for you. Um, could be um, somebody like you are, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fire sign, love, fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, strong Aries, strong Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, again. Yeah, I feel like you've already turned your back on this person. They're wondering if you're doing worse or better without them. And uh, three of wands, possibly longing for you, or this person could be at a distance from you. Yeah, this person constantly thinks about you. They're not happy. Nine of Cups here in love first. Feeling dissatisfied. Seven of Pentacles again, wondering how you're doing. Mm, I think you haven't seen this person in a while. Yeah. I'll pull out a few of these oracles. soulmate calling in your soulmate children wedding religious factors hmm. okay for some of you, you may have been married to this person or could have talked about marriage or this person could be married or you could be married you know especially if this is a long um, third party situation maybe this person is acting childishly with the children card or Maybe children are involved in the situation. Religious factors can indicate maybe, um, you know, both of you may have different opinions, different religion, different kind of, uh, could be an age gap or any sorts of factors that could be stopping. Well, it could be because of third party as well. That could have caused this connection to have ended with the tower here. This person is could be your soulmate, and people always think that, you know, uh, having a soulmate means this, you're gonna be with this person forever. No, not necessarily. Having a soulmate is like most of the time is to teach each, each other lessons. Perhaps for some of you, you've already taught this person a lesson, and you've walked away from them. 
And for some of you, Gemini, if you're single, maybe you will meet your soulmate. If you try to manifest them calling in your soulmate, you'll be... One second, please. Sorry. Hi. Huh? Laundry, okay. The laundry person came like 30 minutes earlier than they said they were going to come. They said they were going to get here at 12. So I'm still reading. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Gemini, sorry about that. I don't know where I'm at right now. I think it's almost towards the end of the reading anyway. I'm so sorry about that. Um, well, I do your readings every single day, twice a day even. So I guess I will see you tomorrow. Take care, Gemini. And also, um, I am open for personal readings. All of the information is in the description box below. I've added new options okay, to book a personal reading with me. And also, there are many other readings that I've posted every single day. You can check them out on one of the playlists that says daily readings. All right, take care, Gemini. Sorry about that. Bye.